and welcome to Lily Love Coach. In my last segment, I discussed how it was important for men to relay the message to women that it's important to wear lingerie, boots, fun things like that. Now, this one is for you guys. I'm not letting you off the hook either. So for us women, the way that we're really sexually and sensually turned on is often through some fantasy. And a lot of the guys who I've worked with just don't seem to be comfortable with that kind of language. So I want you to look at it like storytelling. I'm going to tell you first of all what about fantasy really helps get us off. As you know, we are so in our heads. And so why not a better way to connect our heads with our pussies? And then we'll be right there. And not only that, but then we also won't be thinking about the groceries or the kids or how tired we are, all this stuff, because you'll have, like, totally hooked us. So, um, the fantasy talk, and also when you're working on us orally or with your hands or even with sex, it's important to touch our heads, literally, our, our hair, to hold our face. We really feel loved and connected, most of us women, through um, that kind of touch around our head and our face and it connects us down to our sexual organs. We're not built like you guys. We don't have a cock and balls just hanging out. I don't know how you do it. Walking around hour after hour. I mean, I think I'd be horny all the time. You're just so aware of like that part of your body. Jeez. But for us, you've got to awaken it and get us there. So every woman's fantasy is different. Um, they may not be comfortable telling you what it is, and you may not be comfortable asking what it is. So I just want to let you know that two of the major themes that women fantasize about, and you can tell it in many different stories, the two themes are seem to be, um, one, women get off on feeling a little bit of jealousy. So if you were to embellish this storyline of you being with another woman and she was so into you and how hard your cock got and what you were going to do to this woman and what she was doing to you, etc., etc., we'd be right there. Now, granted, the relationship has to be a secure relationship. You can't have just gone off and had an affair last week and she knows this and she's going to think that hot, that's hot. That's not going to happen. I'm talking about in a secure relationship where the two of you know that you're connected and you're there for each other and there's trust. So that's one piece. And the other piece is from speaking with women and being one myself, what a lot of women get off on is the way that your cock looks and feels right before you're about to come, how it starts to expand and get bigger and then your whole sounds and your body language and right when you're at that part, that's a piece that turns us on and ejaculating and just that whole scene. So again, it doesn't have to be really hard. You don't have to put a lot of effort into it. Imagine that you are telling a story to us and just talk us through it. For many women who have trouble getting over the edge with that little push, that little help that you're creating this scene for us and we're still so connected through the story and through each other's bodies and touch, we're going to be right there and so excited. Okay, I can't wait for you to try it. Good luck.